Short Story 111 A Game of Cricket The sun shone brightly on the village green. Children chased butterflies and a gentle breeze rustled the leaves of the tall trees. In the centre of the green, a group of people gathered excitedly. They were waiting for the weekly cricket match to begin. Two teams, the Sunnyside Strikers and the Oakenhaven Owls, lined up on opposite side of the pitch. The pitch was a rectangular area of smooth grass, with three wooden stumps at each end. On top of the stumps, two small pieces of wood called bales balanced precariously. The Sunnyside Strikers won the toss and chose to bat first. A young boy named Raj, wearing a bright orange helmet and holding a flat wooden bat, walked confidently towards the centre of the pitch. His heart thumped with a mixture of excitement and nervousness. Opposite him stood the bowler, a tall girl named Sarah from the Oakhaven Owls. She held a red leather ball in her hand. Taking a deep breath, she ran towards the pitch and bowled the ball towards Raj. The ball whizzed past Raj's bat, missing him by a hair. The crowd gasped. Raj took a deep breath and waited for the next delivery. This time the ball was slower, and with a swing of his bat, Raj hit it squarely. The ball flew high into the air, soaring over the heads of the fielders. As the ball sailed away, Raj ran between the wickets, the two sets of stumps at each end of the pitch. Each run earned his team valuable points. He ran back and forth four times, earning four runs for his team before the ball was finally caught by a fielder. Another sunny time batsman stepped in, and the game continued. Sarah, the bowler, and the other Oakhaven fielders worked together trying to stop the sunny side batsman from scoring runs. They caught some balls, bowled others wide, and stumped one batsman who accidentally knocked the bales off the stumps while trying to run. At the halfway point of the game, the sunny side strikers had scored 80 runs. Now it was the Oakhaven Owls turn to bat. They hoped to taste down the sunny side score and win the match. The first Oakhaven batsman, a young girl named Maya, played carefully. She de defended the good balls and hit the bad ones for runs. Soon she was joined by her friend, Rohan, a strong and confident batsman. Rohan swung his bat with power, sending the ball sailing across the green. He ran quickly between the wickets, adding valuable runs to the Oakhaven Owls' score. The Sunnyside fielders tried their best to stop him, but Rowan was unstoppable. With every run scored, the excitement in the crowd grew. Parents cheered, children laughed, and even the butterflies seemed to pause to watch the thrilling game. As the final over the match began, the Oakhaven Owls needed just five runs to win. The tension was thick in the air. Everyone held their breath as Rowan faced the final ball. He swung his bat with all his might, connecting perfectly with the ball. The ball soared high into the sky, flying towards the boundary of the green. The sunny side fielder ran desperately towards the ball, but it landed just beyond his reach, bouncing over the boundary rope. The crowd erupted into cheers. The Oakhaven Owls had won the match. The players from both teams shook hands and congratulated each other on a good game. They had all enjoyed a fun and exciting afternoon of cricket under the warm sunshine and the clear blue sky. As the players packed up their equipment and the crowd began to disperse, Raj and Mayer lingered on the green. They both agreed that while winning was great, the best part of the game was the spirit of sportsmanship and the joy of playing together. They already looked forward to next week's game, where they would face off once again, ready to create new memories and friendships on the cricket pitch. Vocabulary Notes General Match A game between two teams Team A group of players working together Pitch, the rectangular area in the centre of the field where the main action of the game takes place. Stumps, 
three wooden posts at each end of the pitch. Bales, two small pieces of wood balancing on top of the stumps. Batsman, batter, the player who tries to hit the ball with the bat. Bowler, the player who throws the ball towards the batsman. Fielder, a player who tries to catch the ball hit by the batsman and stop runs from being scored. Runs, points scored by the batting team. Specific actions. Toss, a coin toss to decide which team bats first. Bowl, to throw the ball towards the batsman. Bat, to hit the ball with a flat wooden bat. Run, to run between the wickets to score runs. Catch, to catch the ball hit by the batsman before it bounces on the ground. Out, when a batsman is dismissed, cannot continue batting. Over, a set of six deliveries bowled by one bowler. Boundary, the edge of the playing field. Win, to score more runs than the opposing team. Additional words. Excited, feeling happy and eager. Nervous, feeling worried or anxious. Confident, feeling sure of oneself and one's abilities. Thrilling, exciting and nerve-wracking in a good way. Sportsmanship, fair and respectful behaviour in a sport. Disperse, to spread out and go in different directions. Linger, to stay in a place for a while after everyone else has left. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Adobe Firefly AI. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed this story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a meaningful comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.